Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I am Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. And if you find yourself inspired, join my channel. For those of you guys who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So guys, today's video, I am doing some organization. And I thought as I was trying to organize my things, I would bring you guys along so that you can see some of the things that I have um, that I have gathered over the years with my crafting and also see how I have used them. I hope it'll be informative. I'll try to see if I can get each section done in one video. Um, and that way you can see all the different uh, things that I enjoy doing. Okay, so come along with me and let's check out what I do. <laughs> okay guys, so I am back and what I've done is gathered the majority of the knitting supplies that are for non-needle knitting. Okay, so what you see here are various uh, looms that I have used to try to make things um, that are knitted um, fabrics and items. <clears throat> so let's start with the uh, simplest thing. And um, that would be a French knitter. Okay, so a French knitter or a wonder knitter or something like this, which also is kind of with the pegs on it. Um, this one is for wire, um, for making wire jewelry, uh, as this one is also. They all pretty much have the same thing with the exception of this one. This one only has the four pegs on it, but this one has interchangeable um, heads on it. Um, there's one that has um, three, um, there's one that has four, and there's one that has uh, six on it. And this one right here has one that has three and one that has um, six on it, okay? And they're all made for um, making eye cords, uh, which I've made uh, a garment earlier, but not a garment, but a, a necklace um, that I knotted. And I showed you guys a video on that using this particular um, apparatus. You can do eye cords using needles, uh, but this makes it a lot easier. You can also do eye cords with your hands, um, but this makes it really, really nice and easy. You can easily put it down and pick it back up and continue uh, going with your project. Okay, so these are really, really nice, easy to do. I've used them in the past and I think they're great. All right, so the next thing would be maybe a small loom. Okay, so right here is something called a flower loom. Okay, so this is a flower loom. And this is a larger gauge flower loom made by loops and threads. And um, you can use chunky yarn, uh, with this one and make some nice items. You can make flowers with it to embellish things, but um, you can also make socks, okay? So these are small socks made on this flower loom and I'll put that over here. Um, this pattern I adapted um, from a tutorial that was done by Kayla over at Llama Mama Kayla. And this was done back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. She uh, did these uh, during the Advent season in December. And I thought it was really cool and just kind of asked her how she did it. She told us she used a flower loom and then I kind of went from there. But I do believe that she did eventually put up a tutorial on how she made hers. So you can check that and I'll put the link in the description box below. All right, so after that, 
You could also do a flower loom like this one, okay? If you wanted to make um, socks that were maybe not using the chunky yarn, uh, this is one that I ordered online and it has uh, pegs that are closer together. So you could actually use one strand of worsted weight yarn and still get a nice um, knit fabric from it um, without a bunch of holes. And this one, um, okay, so this one, this one here has 12 pegs. This one here has 20 pegs. And you see how the um, diameter is similar, but because you have more pegs, you can get a closer knit um, fabric compared to this one if you used a single worsted weight uh, with this one compared to this one. Okay, so that's two. And because I teach um, people how to do the different crafts that I learned how to do, I bought extras. So these are extras that I bought. For, um, so that I could uh, show uh, the people that I craft with how to use these looms with the smaller uh, distance between them. Okay, so let's put that over here. All right, now next, um, what if you wanted to do uh, double knitting or um, you just wanted to do something with a different um, distance? Loops and Threads does make this knit quick uh, mini loom. And um, so this one has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 pegs. Now you could do this in the round, but the problem is you don't have a peg on either end. So then your ends would have a larger gap um, compared to doing something like this. Okay, so this one is more for someone who wants to do the figure eight um, style knitting so that you can have a double knit fabric um, and it works better um, that way. And you notice these pegs are closer together. So it comes complete with your loom tool and everything as do all of the kits that I'm showing you all today. So once again, I did buy another one. This was purchased actually to show my daughter how to do knitting. And I think these ran for like $5 or something at Michael's. Um, initially, they came like this with a book. And it was really nice because you had the instruction book. And then more recently, they came just like this. No book, no instructions. You just uh, had to kind of figure it out on your own, OK? All right, so now the next thing is, what if you kind of enjoy doing that, but you didn't want to be limited by these smaller things? Well, they do have a um, set of round looms that you can use. And the set comes with uh, four different looms. There's one missing from this set here, but this is how it comes. This is by Loops and Threads. And um, it comes with a um, 24 peg loom, a 31 peg loom, 36 peg loom, and a 41 peg loom. And so all of these can be used to make a variety of things. And as you see on here, it shows a hat, um, but you can do way more things than um, making hats um, with these looms. So you just have to know that you can do a lot of things with it once you learn the different um, techniques. It does come with a book, it comes with a loom tool, it comes with a yarn needle, um, really nice set. I don't see that these ever go on sale. So my recommendation is if you want to get a set like this, use a coupon, okay? When they have a 40% off or something like that, just use a coupon because these will be the regular price item. And you can then go ahead and get those for whatever the percent off is on the coupon, okay? So now let me show you some things that I actually made with these particular loads, okay? All right, so this is a slipper, a nice cozy slipper. Really, really uh, nice, keeps you nice and warm. This was made with this 24 peg loom, okay? Um, and not hard to do at all. The bulk of it is done uh, with garter stitch, which is knitting a row and purling a row. You do that in a round for so many rows. 
And then you start going back and forth for the area where your foot is supposed to go. All right, so that was done with a 24 peg loan. And I'll show you some others that I've done that I haven't um, finished yet. So these are whips, um, but you can easily do these. And you see, I just kind of put them together um, so that the pairs were, were done together with the tension and everything that I did for the day. So I have, let's see, one pair, one blue pair, and then one yellow. two and three. Okay, so that's four pairs of slippers. And um, yeah, so you can make slippers with it. Well, what else can you do with it? Okay, so these are scrubbies, okay? You can make scrubbies with, with cotton yarn. And also these were made with the 24 pig loom. And these are basically just knit, 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 knit. Now, if you wanted to have uh, something that will give you uh, some roughness or some texture, then you could knit a row and curl a row and that'll give you the garter stitch. If you just knit, knit, knit around, then you're gonna get stockinette stitch when you're using a loom, which is different if you're using um, needles. But you just do you know, so many uh, rounds of the um, E-wrap knit stitch and then you pull it together. So you, um, you pull it together and then you put the centers together and then it kind of flattens out. So it makes a very nice um, scrubby. And as you see, I've got several of them that I've put together. And um, yes, these are all ready to go. Okay. Now, the next thing you can do is you can make scarves and you can make different designs. So this is a design that I actually came up with and I'm working on it again um, so that I can hopefully um, write it up. Um, and this is with a different um, yarn, um, but really nice. Um, this is doing a uh, double um, E-wrap so that I can get a cross kind of cable design here. And yeah, so I turned this into uh, a cow. All right. So this one was also done on the 24 pig loom. All right. Okay, so those are the round looms or straight looms because again, you just need the number of pegs in order to do that with the exception of the slippers because with the slippers, we did do the round. So I needed the 24 pegs. But the, um, the scarf, it didn't matter whether it was round or if it was square. All right, guys. So now what if you don't wanna be limited in that way? Um, the Loops and Threads also has these adjustable looms. So with these adjustable looms, they come in um, sections, right? So they give you these partial um, sections that you can put together and you can turn it into um, an oval loom or you can just do a straight and have it be a rectangular loom or something like that. Now, the advantage to this, if you do it like this, is you do have the pegs on the end that we didn't have um, when I showed you guys the little small mini loom. We didn't have these end pegs here. So you had that gap from the two sides. But this is nice because now you're not limited to a small number of pegs and you can make larger projects if you want to loom knit. Okay, and you could do double knitting also. So you can knit in the round or you can do the double knitting um, technique with these. This is a 
Nifty Knitter uh, loom that I purchased. And this one goes in the round. The nice thing I like about this one is the fact that it does have the end pegs on it. So you can choose to go in the round with this, or you can do back and forth with figure eight to get your double uh, knitting. The only downside to this one compared to this one is the fact that I'm limited in the number of pegs here. Whereas here, I can expand it if I want to. So this one right here is also a kit that you can put together and make your uh, knit stitches as many or as few as you need them to be. It's very, very versatile. This one is made by Martha Stewart and it is a knit and weave loom kit. Um, with this one, I'll look on, show you on the back here. It is a very complete um, kit. So it comes with different size straight uh, pieces. So these are kind of short ones. These are longer ones. It comes with a uh, complete corner if you just want to do a rectangular kind of uh, knitting or if you want to make it even bigger or something like that, it has these corner pieces here um, that are just a part of a corner. And then it has it so that you can do it in the round. So you could just use the two round pieces to do a hat, or you could take these edges and then make this into an oval shape rather than just a complete um, circle. Um, let's open it up and actually take a look at it. Okay, so you get two yarn needles with this, which is just great, okay? And um, you get a crochet hook. You get a uh, weaving tool, okay? This is wonderful. So you can do woven fabric also. You get multiple sizes of the pegs so that um, you can use any type of yarn, whether it be very fine yarn or very, very uh, thick and um, chunky yarn. So the, the colors correspond to the size of the pigs. Um, and these do have uh, this channel in here to help get your tool in there to get your yarn so as you're knitting. I would say the only downside to um, this particular kit is that sometimes, depending on how you knit, these pegs come off when you're knitting. Um, so they, they're not, um, they don't click in, they just slide in. So that could be a challenge. But other than that, it's a very, very good kit. Okay. Okay, guys, last but not least, um, this is another type of loom, and this one is made by KB, and that's the knitting board. And they have a nice variety of looms that you can uh, use to make all kinds of things, okay? Using finer uh, yarns all the way up to these super bulky, chunky yarns, okay? So this one uses, I don't know, like a six or a seven weight yarn. And they come individual like this, where you could um, buy them and you can link them together. Um, I don't have my loom tool in here because I forgot to put it back in here after I got through using it, but um, it comes complete with a loom tool, with a yarn needle and with a, a single uh, zippy loom. Now, I really like this a lot uh, for showing students who, um, maybe we're younger, wanted to learn how to make something, and also grown-ups too, all right? It also comes with this little attachment here that you see where you can link them together, all right? Now, they came out with this, which is really nice, where you can put these together. So that's just awesome. So you get four zippies, four corners, 10 connectors, right? And they give you a um, booklet in here to show you how to make things uh, with it, all right? So this is a really, really nice, and you can configure it all kind of ways. So they give you all instructions here. 
So now let me show you what you can make with this zippy loan. All right. So this is a shawl, and I'm just showing you half of it. Okay. So it's a very nice long shawl. It's a triangular shawl. And I was able to make that using a zippy loom. With a zippy loom, honestly, you could make something in just an hour or two. You could, you know, whip up something really, really pretty and, and get a beautiful knit um, fabric. So awesome. All right. Um, this is an example of the yarn that was used. And this is Charisma, okay? So this is Charisma, which is by Loops and Threads. Um, but that particular type of weight is just what I wanted to show you guys. So if you see here, the weight of the yarn is um, very, very um, similar, okay? All right, so... I think I'm going to stop there, and what I'll do is, in another video, I will show you guys my knitting machines that I have, and then we'll go through all of the other supplies that I have and the things that I've made with that. So let's switch back to um, the other camera. So guys, I am back. What did you think? I know that's a lot of looms, but when you think about it, um, I like to show people what I do and I don't want there to be any excuses or limits to what they can do at the time because I never know if I'm going to get another opportunity to show them and teach them how to do the crafts. So I'll explain how I do things and how I did things, I guess, before you know, um, this past year, because this past year we've been meeting virtually. But previously what I would do actually is I would put all of my looms in a bin and all of the loom tools and yarn needles. And then I would gather yarns that I had and put that in a separate bin. And then I would print out patterns that I had found uh, with instructions on how to do things. And when I would get to the location where we would craft, I would bring those things out, get help bringing them into the building. And that way, anybody who decided to come to craft with us, I would give them a loom, give them a tool, give them a yarn needle, um, give them some yarn <laughs> and uh, instructions. And then they would get help from one another as we did our sessions for that evening. They would take that with them, work on it, and if they had trouble, then they could get in contact with us and we would try to do our best to help them out. And that's each one teaching one and then passing it on. Um, I really do enjoy the crafting and I think all of the people um, that participated enjoyed what they were doing as well. And again, we do a lot of stuff um, as um, charitable organization and we give a lot of the stuff away, but some of the people actually were able to really get good at it and they were able to sell some of the things that they made. And I so appreciated that um, being able to do that for them and with them. All right. So yeah, um, that's what I have part of the things in my craft closet. And what do you guys have in your craft closet? Do you have any looms? And if so, what things have you made with them? Leave me a comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to hear your comments and I really do enjoy reading them and giving you guys uh, responses and whatnot. It really means a lot to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. Do everything you can to be mindful, guys. Please be healthy. And by all means, don't forget to be crafty every day.
I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. And don't forget to check back because I'm gone. I've got a lot more things that I need to show you that I have in my craft room. All right. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.